today we'll be learning about zest spring also called double cantilever spring for convenience i have already made a zest spring this is how it looks it has an active arm helix and a retentive arm it is used for rotational or radial movement of the teeth so for making zest spring we require young's loop plier also called universal plier heavy wire cutter marker cast and 0.6 mm wire so first take around 0.6 mm wire about a finger length try to strengthen it then close one end of the wire so that it does not hurt the patient anywhere so adapt the wire on the palatal surface of the tooth to be moved labially and place a coil at one of its end width of z spring is equal to the width of the tooth measured distally so mark the point as now the tooth we are doing is 1 1 okay we marked the point always remember the active arm should be towards the tissue now initiate the bend with a square beak and then switch to the round beak make a helix so that the wire goes up and the arm is down so it goes somehow close in and make the both arms parallel so close this in now see both arms are parallel to each other make a second helix again initiate the helix with a round beak now this time the wire actually goes down make sure helix is proper round 
and again the arm is parallel so this is how it looks now from here make a 90 degree turn and immediately make a vertical bend downwards So now as you can see it looks somehow like this It's time to make the retentive arm. First bend, second bend, and so on. So it's now time to adapt. Oh wait, first cut the excess wire. And now adapt this on the palatal surface. Also make sure that the retent to doubt does not goes opposite side of the midline. This is how it looks. Alright. Thank you for watching guys.